Hey everyone, this is Michael with Cult of Mac here, and today I'm going to show you how you can use the built-in applications on your Mac, primarily QuickTime, to actually create your own easy videos. So since the beginning here at Cult of Mac, I've received a lot of email about my videos in regards to what software I use to make them, how I'm recording my screen, as well as things like how do I make that little sonar effect around my mouse cursor where, where whenever I click on something, you see these rings like indicating where I've clicked. Um, all different kinds of questions like that. And I get these questions all the time. So I finally decided that I should make a video about how I actually make my videos in a sense uh, to show anybody out there who wants to get into making videos of any kind, uh, who's interested in video editing, how with the tools that are built right into your Mac, you don't have to go and buy anything, how you can actually create videos that look pretty professional. So as you know, with any Mac, you get QuickTime Player built in. And with QuickTime and Mac OS X Line, you can actually do quite a bit of professional stuff uh, that rivals some expensive applications to make some pretty nice videos. So if you have QuickTime Player open and you go up to the File menu, uh, you'll probably be surprised if you haven't played around with QuickTime that you can do a lot more than just playback video and audio with it. You can actually do some quite advanced things. So you can do a movie recording using a webcam or your internal eyesight camera. You can do an audio recording, and that's how I record pretty much all the audio for my videos. And you can do a screen recording. And I've been using the screen recording functionality in QuickTime Player for my last several videos now that I'm on Mountain Lion, and there's been some compatibility issues with some of the software I use. Uh, QuickTime has been really great for making my videos. So if you're looking to make something like a screencast and you go on to a new screen recording, you're going to see this little window pop up here and you have a whole bunch of different options on here. So if you click on this little arrow right here, what you're going to see is a whole bunch of different options. So you can choose the type of microphone input and I use the Samson Meteor mic, uh, but you can use the built-in microphone in your Mac. You can also choose the quality of the video and I would choose high for most everything to make your videos look the best. And then here's what a lot of people ask about, which is showing mouse clicks in the recording. So if you have this selected, QuickTime Player will produce a, it's a gray ring in this case, around your mouse cursor every time you click. And you don't see this during recording, but when you play it back afterwards, you'll see the clicks. And from here you can record your screen. So if I just press record, you're going to see in the middle of the screen this little thing pop up. And it says on it, you can click to record the entire screen or you can just click and drag to record a section of the screen. So let's say I just wanna record this section of the screen up here. You can see it highlights and you can select the chunk you want and you can click start recording. So what you'll see here is that it is recording and it's only recording what's in this lighter box right here. And once you're finished with the recording, you can hit stop. Now you have this little video here of what you just recorded. So you can play this back and you can see exactly what you recorded. And the nice thing about it is that you can see that the little recording box that popped up on the screen goes away while you're recording so that it doesn't get in the way of your video. Now once you're done with your video, if you're satisfied, you can send it right up to YouTube or Facebook or you can send it over to iTunes, maybe email it, message it all different things like that. But if you want to add some extra touches to your video and you really want to make it shine, you can select iMovie and you can send it to iMovie. Now, if you really want to go with the extra step with your videos and make them really professional, you can use an application like ScreenFlow. And ScreenFlow is what I had used for the majority of my videos up until Mountain Lion, uh, just because I've been having a couple of different compatibility issues, which I assume will be resolved by the final release of Mountain Lion. I'll be able to go back to using it then. Uh, but for right now, I've been using QuickTime Player myself. But ScreenFlow is really nice because it has a lot of advanced features and you can make some really amazing looking videos with it. Now, it's not free, so it's probably only something you're going to want to invest in if you do a lot of work with videos or you know if you're really serious about what you're doing. But it's definitely a great option. And if anybody wants to look into it, I'll have a link to it below the video that you can check it out. So I hope this video answered a lot of the questions that the viewers have had of my videos kind of wanting to know what I use to make videos and how I do it. And I'm not really going to get into things like iMovie or Final Cut here. Uh, they're more advanced topics that would really kind of need to stretch over a long series of videos. But this is just the basics on what I do for my videos and it kind of covers all the different questions that I've been asked over the past year or so about what I do for my videos. And as always, if you have any suggestions for videos or things that you would like to see a how-to on, make sure to send me an email. That's how I ended up making this video. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.